Guys, there are a couple of fragrances that have been really hyped up in the fragrance community and I don't really understand why. I mean, these fragrances don't have anything special. One of them actually smells pretty bad to me. Maybe some of you guys feel the same as I do about these three overhyped fragrances for which I don't really get the hype. And if you feel the other way around, I mean, if you really like them, you have to remind yourself that this is my personal opinion, so don't take it personally if I don't enjoy these fragrances. I'm going to start with the one that, let's say, I could understand the hype for it a bit, to the one that it's way overhyped. Overhyped fragrance number three is one that is not always overhyped. Sometimes it does receive some critic, that's why it's just number three. It is Aqua Di Gio Absolute. Now this fragrance guys, come on, like really the most popular and classy fragrance ever to be attempted to be modernized like this? Why would you want a fragrance that is, in my opinion, undateable modernized? It's not like Aqua Di Gio cannot be used by the younger crowd, it is for everyone. So why would you make a version of it that is for the younger crowd that smells like the DNA of the modern fragrance, the sweet, young and more of the same DNA that Pakurapan and Azaro and mostly every other house is making these days. And Armani, didn't you already release a fragrance that is addressed to the younger crowd with Stronger With You? I'm sorry guys, maybe you like this fragrance, but in my opinion you don't do that to a very classy fragrance, to the most popular fragrance in the world. Overhyped fragrance number two is Abercrombie and Finch First Instinct. So, what's up with this fragrance, guys? It was so overhyped when it first came out. This fragrance doesn't get me interested at all. If I could wear the Aqua Di Gio Absolute, this one I cannot wear. For me, the opening of this fragrance smells like pickles. I get it, it is cheap, but it smells cheap also and there are a lot more better options for that price. Overhyped fragrance number one, and here most of you might disagree with me, but for those who have a trained nose, for those who are fragrance collectors, you understand what I'm talking about. The fragrance, which is so overhyped lately, is Coach for Man. What's up with this fragrance, guys? To me, this fragrance smells like the ordinary cologne, with no character, nothing special. You might as well put it along with the police fragrances. I would erase every other letter from the bottle besides the C and the O, and I will add LONE. Why is this fragrance so overhyped guys please explain to me i do understand that it might be a mass appealing fragrance but aren't there like tons of fragrances that smell the same so the only purpose of this fragrance that i do understand is the fact that it is mass appealing for the untrained nose especially for the high school teenagers who don't really give a damn about the notes they just want a quick cologne that smells great. So those were my three overhyped fragrances for which I don't understand the hype. What's your opinion about these? Please leave a comment below and please enlighten me. What have I missed here? And also, what are the fragrances that in your opinion are too overhyped? And until the next video guys, you keep smelling great.